Engineer 775 here at my friend Joshua's business called North American Rain Harvesting. And um, I'm supposed to be helping him unload, but I'm gonna basically uh, just take this video. <laughs> uh, just wanna do a shout out to these guys, to Joshua here. They do an awesome job, and uh, I better help him load the tank. Okay, I'm here with Joshua with North American Rain Harvesting. Haven't seen my friend in a while. We've both been so busy. How you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. <laughs> I'm picking up a tank from him. Um, he is the expert on rain catchment systems um, in our area, upstate South Carolina. And if you need anything, I see a lot of people building systems that are uh, kind of DIY and they need a little bit of a little bit of help. Joshua has all the supplies to do that. So I, I'm making him uh, show me his uh, backyard here with all his tanks. Lots of options and he'll correct me if I'm wrong on some of these things, but he's got some new tanks in. These are uh, variable Dreckberry tanks, 2600 gallon. Kind of neat because it's a low profile. I'll show you, they're not as deep as a lot of the other tanks. So you don't have to dig as deep of a hole. And uh, this is 2600 gallons, right? 2600 gallons. You got the good flat spots for your bulkhead fittings. So if you want to link tanks together, you got a flat spot at the bottom, tie two them. tanks together, awesome. overflows and inlets at the top and the bottom, both sides, even on the left and right side of the tank, so you got a lot of flexibility there. What about um, extensions? Do you have manway extensions yeah, for these? Yeah, this is a 20-inch lid. Wow. And they make I could extensions even fit in, there. In, in 12 and 6 inch that you can just you can stack for days, really. Okay. That's... But, so you have a 2600, I saw a bigger one that's a, what size is that? 3500. A 3500 gallon tank. So um, traditionally I've always talked to Joshua about the bruisers, which I think are over here. The blue guys. The blue guys. One so, in the front's a thousand, the ones in the back are 1500s. So these are great tanks, um, just direct berry. I think they can, are they also septic tanks? They can also be used as septic tanks. They're kind of pre-plumbed as septic because they have a sanitary T right. and a standpipe on the inlet and the overflow. Okay. But that's the big advantage to these because they're plug and play. The fittings are there. So if you're doing a kind of a standard residential rain system, you've got four inch in and four inch overflow. On the other the side. Plug it in and you're nice. Ready. We can also use these with any of my uh, solar water systems too and put overflows. The f there's usually enough uh, place to put bulkhead fittings. On these tanks, you can find plenty of room to do and uh, to customize your system. So we got above ground tanks, all different sizes. You can see these mostly to the Norwesco. These are all Norwesco. Norwesco tanks, all different 2500s. And what's your smallest? Smallest tank is Three, 100 gallons. 100, you go down to 100 gallon. Yeah. We also carry the Polymart tanks and they have some real clean residential small yeah. stuff. So there's no problem shipping to anyone in the country? Ship it anywhere in the United States. Yeah, I don't think you can beat this. Uh, he's been doing this a long time. He knows what he's doing. If you need help with tanks, check out their uh, website. You can get to it a couple different ways. Uh, was it North American Rain Harvesting? M North American Rain Systems. So, I'm sorry. And then raincollectionsupplies.com. So both of those. Sorry I messed that up. That's okay. All right. Well, very good. What else do you want? Is there anything else you got going on here? Um, well, we're just real excited about these new underground tanks. We sell a lot of plastic septic tanks. And those they, are the yellow ones? They're a touch more expensive than a concrete tank, but they last forever. They'll never leach out. Really easy to install. And we but, end up shipping those all over the place. Again, a lot of uses for these, too. You can use them for a cache and all, all, all sorts of things that you preppers can think of using these tanks for. And like you said, they'll last forever. So. Well, very good. I'm going to load up my tank and take it to the job. And uh, again, I'd really appreciate showing me around. Uh, let's go inside the shop and I'll show you some other. What, you want to show us some of your rain catchment supplies? Let's do that. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of people, as we walk that way, they go to Amazon and buy some of these supplies. And they're kind of cheap and they're really, I don't think they're the best system. So we're going to show you some cool stuff inside his, um, his office here. You know, the first step in a rain system is going to be the pre-filters. After the downspout, you're going to go into either a full house, this is kind of an in-ground basket filter, or you can do individual downspout filters. We've got several options, so this is kind of custom setups, but that pre-filter is so important. And then, you know, we've got first flush devices. That's that what I use, the first flush. That works wash great. the roof. Mm -hmm. it really helps with water quality. It's simple. I mean, it's such really, a simple thing. Yes. There's a touch of maintenance in it, but, but it really improves water quality. And if this is going to be a potable system, right. it's a must-have. Right. Another thing that can really help with water quality is using a floating inlet for the pump. 
So instead of extracting water from the bottom of the tank, yeah. you're going to extract it from four inches from the surface. And that's what I call it the floating extractor. Is that floating wrong? Floating extractor, <laughs> that's something that a lot of people use. That, it works. So I use mine and it works fantastic. Yeah. I agree. We, last year we got in these submersible Grunfoss pumps. A lot of people are, are familiar with the Grunfoss MQ. It's also used as a pressure booster. It's a pump that you know, kind of sits outside the tank. Last year they started offering that in a submersible which version. for freeze protection and all that is awesome. Yeah, it, it, a lot of advantages to go on submersible. It comes with a floating extractor. Oh, nice. Okay, So see this that. is a plug, plug and play pump. It has your pressure switch and all built in. It doesn't hurt it to short cycle. You don't need a pressure tank. You have so, that on your website? Got that on the website. Right. Excellent pump. Awesome. We love our Grunfoss Well, Grunfoss pump. is good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I use their submersible solar pumps. So we do overlap in a, quite a few areas. So but depending on what your system, what your requirements are, you don't want to just throw any pump in there. Right. You want to make sure it's sized correctly. And that's why we have a lot of options in pumping. That's great. You know, there again, just custom setups. We started You're even carrying a hand pump now. Yeah, this is a Hey, Heller, that's my, you're, you're getting in my business. Heller no, I'm just kidding. That's a, 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 an Amish pump. Is that the one that Le Layman's Catalog sells? I've seen this thing before. I'm not sure if they sell it or not, but we really like the guys that make this. This is all brass and leather, so there's no uh, iron on the inside that can pit. Right. Start pulling on your leathers. Sweet. Fully rebuildable, but you can hook a pipe with this and you can push water 100 feet with this guy. Nice. Um, I see a lot of people team these up with a pressure tank. So, so you can pump up some and then you to use. Um, for later. Exactly. So you've got some other cool inline you got some of these inline first flush diverters right yeah, yeah these you know more downspout filters little rain barrel kits these are pump controllers if you want to pump with an external controller we really just keeps on going now, we've got a lot more than what's sitting here in this room uh, mechanical makeup valves those are great I use these Joby valves are, are awesome yeah I've not seen these but uh, it's just a little bit cheaper little bit okay if you, you know if you just got a little small residential oh, system. They got, you got some monitoring um, I did a video on tank full from a distance and here's another one pretty big dial so it's a way to, for you to see externally without having to open up or get on the ladder to check your tank yeah you can see what's going on with your the one on the left is it has a remote monitor, so you so can, can put have in the a house. digital display. Ooh, on high, high tech, high tech water. Yeah. Gauges. Cool. All right, that's pretty much covers it in here. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean the website is loaded up. You can go and it's organized very nicely with um, you know tank it has tanks by the size, by the cost, and and everything. Easy else. to figure out. But if you do have a problem on the website, just call us. Just, just shoot us an email. Just we'll call. Walk you through it. We do it every Great. day. Great. Step in the next room real quick. Okay. Yeah. Just remind everybody that we're here to help purify this water. Oh, you do have the UV Max. People um, use this to run their whole lives, so. So you got a pre-particle filter, and you can do, and then you five, have to finish it with five UV. Five micron sediment, mm -hmm. five micron carbon, and then the UV light. Got and this, this controller mounts on the front to tell you where you're at with your replacement bulbs. I got it. Replace what? the UV bulb once a Is year. Is that the Trojan? This is a Trojan. Got it. Okay, so I've seen those. Yeah, we there's a lot of UV products on the market, but because it's something that keeps people safe, we don't want to take any risk, and we only carry the stuff that we know works. SQ Flex is here. Yeah. Oh, we got to talk, uh, but that's off camera. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you got a selection of filters, the Pentair. You got the big, big blues, all different canisters. All right. Well, we're gonna have, we're gonna sit down here, Joshua, and have a good talk about business. So we do a lot of the similar things. And uh, anyway, please check out Joshua's website and uh, give him a call. It's very helpful. He's uh, helped me out tremendously on my projects. This is Engineer Seven Seven Five signing out. All right, time to get to work. Just leaving North American Rain Harvesting, and uh, had another great meeting with Joshua and uh, he's a great guy and he'll treat you fairly and um, get you the good quality product so if you need help with your rain catchment or just tanks or anything else just uh, give him a call take care